Grade 7 Math number 1.4b, Applying Addition and Subtraction of Integers, Word Problems. Here's solving a multi-step problem. A seal is swimming in the ocean five feet below sea level. Here he is right here, okay? See our little seal right here? And he dives down 12 feet to catch some fish. Then the seal swims eight feet up towards the surface with its catch. What's the seal's final elevation relative to sea level? Well, sea level is the level of the sea. That's the zero line, okay? Anything above it is positive and anything below it is negative. So it said it started five feet below sea level, so it's negative five. It dove down 12 more feet, so we're gonna add a negative 12 for the 12 foot dive. Then it swam up eight feet, so we're gonna add an eight for its swimming up. And we need to find the final elevation at sea level. So. We're adding like signs here, a negative 5 and a negative 12, and we just add the two integers when the signs are the same, and we're adding. So that 5 plus 12 is 17, but what sign do we use? Well, remember, we use the sign of the add-ins that are alike, and since they both have a negative, we're going to use a negative, so we have negative 17, okay? Now this 8 is still waiting for us to do something with it. So we're, we've got negative 17 plus 8. Now, they have different signs, a negative 17 and a positive 8. So when their signs are different, we find their difference. The difference between 17 and 8 is 9. But is it a positive 9 or a negative 9? So remember, we use the sign of the greatest absolute value, the one farthest from 0. And who is farther from 0, 17 or 8? Oh, the 17 is, isn't he? So that means it's a negative 9. And it's negative 9 feet below sea level. And because we put the word below here, we don't need the negative 9. He's just 9 feet below sea level. That's like saying negative. Okay? All right? Do you get that? Because it said it, what is the seal's final elevation relative to sea level? That's why we had to answer it that way. Okay? So you got to make sure you read the question and make sure you're actually answering what it's asking. Okay? All right. Now we're going to apply some properties to solve problems. Lisa wrote a check for $150 for groceries. Then she deposited $245. Well, finally she wrote another check for $50. What was the total change in the amount of Lisa's account? So we think writing a check subtracts from her account, doesn't it? It takes money out. Depositing adds to her account. And we can use a positive for the deposits and a negative for the checks that she wrote. We need to find the total change in the amount of her account. So here's what we've got. Minus 150 for the first check, plus 245 for the deposit, and then we're going to add the other check of $50. So we're adding a negative 50. We can rewrite this equation using the commutative property of addition and the associative property to solve it. So. I look at these two and see compatible numbers right here. These are friendly numbers, 150 and 50. They'd be easy to add together, wouldn't they? So I'm going to move the equation around and rewrite it so that the 150 and the 50 are together, OK? Do you remember the commutative property? It says that either direction, it's going to be the same amount when you add them. So if you're at home and you commute, see, commute three miles to your friend's house, and then both of you commute two miles to school. And then when you're coming home, you go two miles to your friend's house. You drop them off and go three miles to your house. You went five miles to school and you went five miles home. It was the same either direction, wasn't it? Three plus two equals five and two plus three equals five. It didn't matter which one we did first, right? That's the commutative property. It's when you're commuting back and forth, it doesn't matter. It's the same distance, okay? Now the associative property says it doesn't matter who associates together. An associate is like a business associate or a friend or someone you hang out with. So if the two and three associate together and then the four comes along, it's still going to equal nine if the three and the four hang out together and then the two comes along. See, it's still going to equal nine. So because of these two properties, we can move these around and make them easier on us and add compatible numbers like 150 and 50. And because their signs are the same, we just add them like we did over here when the signs are the same. 150 and 50 is 200. And because they have like signs that are negative, we have a negative 200. OK, now we need to add this 245, but it's a positive and that's a negative. 
So when we add different signs, we find the difference. Remember? Different difference when adding. So the difference between 200 and 245 is 45. See? 245 take away 200 is 45. We take the sign of the greater absolute value, the one farthest from zero, and 245 is farther away from zero, and it's a positive, so our answer is positive. So what did it want us to do? It wanted us to find what the total change in the amount of her account was. The total change in the amount of her account was $45. It increased. Because it's a positive, it increased by $45. See? All right. This one kind of reminds me of that video game, Minor Dig Deep. So Bob and Dave are digging tunnels. Here's the tunnels they're digging. Bob was 10 feet below the surface. He dug another 18 feet down. Then he dug to the side and started digging up and rose five feet. Then he dug down 12 more and rested, okay? So that's where Bob is at, all right? So we'll cut this in half. And it doesn't hurt to mark up your word problems, okay? And we could even take like, you know, the feet down and underline that, and the feet below, and rows five feet, you can do stuff like that to help you with your word problems. So now we have Dave. Here's Dave's tunnel. He dug down 22 feet, dug to the side, and started digging up five. Then he dug down another 18 feet. Then he rested. And they want to know who rested at a greater depth, Bob or Dave, okay? So what we need to do is add all their digging, don't we? So we think, there's two men, there's two tunnels. Bob was minus 10, then a minus another 18, then he went up 5, and then he went down another 12. Dave w went down 22, went up 5, and went down 18. And as they dug down is negative, and as they dug up is positive. So here's Bob's. He went down 10, and we're adding the 18-foot dig to the 5-foot going up to the 12 feet going down. And I see compatible numbers right here. 8 plus 2 is 10. So if we add this 8 and this 2 right here, we're going to have 10. And if we add that 10, we have 20. And if we add that 10, we have 30. Negative 18 plus negative 12 is 30. And because they're both negative, we use the negative sign. See? Like signs. So now we can do the negative 10. That'll be easy, too. If we have negative 30 and we want to add a negative 10, they have like signs. Ten, and adding them together, 30 and 10 is 40. We're at negative 40. But now we need to add a positive 5. And when we're adding signs that are different, we look for the difference. And the difference between 40 and 5 is 35. And we take the sign of the greater absolute value, the one farther from 0, and that's 40. So it's going to get a negative sign from the 40. Okay? So now let's do Dave. Dave went down 22 feet, up 5, and then down 18. So we're going to add a negative 18. So do you see compatible numbers? I do. I see these two as compatible numbers because I see a 2 and an 8 again that can make a 10. Then when we add this 10, we now have 20. And if we add these two 10s, we have 40. See? It went 10, 20, 30, 40. So now the 22, the negative 22 plus the negative 18 made a negative 40. We still need to add this 5. Look, it's just like this one, negative 40 plus 5. So we know it's going to be a negative 35. So guess what? They both rested at the same depth. They dug differently, but they ended up at the same level. See? So here's what you need to remember. Here's what you need to take away from all of this. When we subtract an integer, we add the opposite of the integer. Like 6 take away negative 2 becomes 6 plus 2. If you remember my video, I said it's almost like this negative sign came over and dropped on its side like this and turned that into a plus sign, and now it was gone. So it's like 6 plus 2, see? And when we're adding, and they have different signs, we find the difference. We apply the rule for adding integers with unlike signs. If they have different signs when we're adding, so make sure you understand that this is for adding, okay? When we're adding and they have different signs, you find the difference. Then... We use the sign of the largest absolute value, the one farthest from zero, to help us know what sign to use, okay? So, hopefully, like my little six, you've got a light bulb over your head and you understand what's going on, okay? And I hope this was helpful. And take notes. That'll help you. Keep your chin up. I believe in you. I think you can do this with no problem. I think you just need to pay attention and take notes, okay? 
Nobody can remember all of this. All good mathematicians have notes. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.